Hello, Porn With Heart family. We're here once again with Jay Stapleton, VP of People Support for Porn With Heart Thoughtful Bar Ventures. And Jay's helping me roll out a new video format that we're gonna put out there for y'all. And it's about relocating because as this company grows, we're going to need members of our bar leadership teams to be willing to move to open up these new bars because it's always best for us to be hiring from within. That being said, relocation can be challenging. So Jay, mm -hmm. tell us about your experience. What inspired you to relocate and where from? So mine wasn't a very big jump because it was from San Diego to Los Angeles. So technically within the same market, but I was eligible for essentially the, uh, the promotion at the time. I'd been the AGM of Seven Grand San Diego for six years. I was kind of waiting for the right opportunity to come along. And then the plan was to open Las Perlas West Hollywood, which I was just, would be incredible. So it was just an opportunity that I really loved. And I had seen a few other people in the company do it. So um, specifically, there was somebody who went from Los Angeles to, uh, to Denver to open up the Seven Grand there. And I saw that and was like, wow, how cool would that be? You work for a company where you not only get a promotion, but you move to a new city, you keep your job or however it works. So for me, it just looked great. So I was like, yeah, let's do it. Moved from Los Ange uh, San Diego to Los Angeles. So yeah, it was great. Inc incredible move for me. So tell us about Los Angeles as a newcomer. What were you excited about? What have you done? What are you excited to do? You know, it was weird because I, I visited LA loads and I'd never really got it. I was a bit like, yeah, it's a great city, but I don't, I don't really understand what the draw is. And then when you live here, you realize that like the culture and the community and the fire of the city is all in these little pockets and you've got to kind of find your district in a sense. When I moved here six months, six months later, the you know, COVID happened, so everything closed down. So I didn't really get the opportunity to really get out in the city. So only really recently, the last year, I've been going to, you know, the different museums and stuff like that. There's a, a really great jazz night um, at the LACMA that we go to in the summers on a Friday night. You can go, I make little, bottled cocktails, like bottled Negronis and stuff. We bring some food and we lay out and listen to the jazz into the night uh, and then go to Normandy Club, which is great. So that's for me has been a highlight. You know, I don't really know anything in San Diego that was similar to that. And you just feel like you're in, when you do something like you feel like you're in a big city, you know? So, so that was great, that was incredible. And the move in general has been brilliant because for my career has been huge. I've had free promotions since I've been here and I've been here now for, well, including COVID, three years. So it just gave me an opportunity to come to, a, to a, a city that was developing and growing and really just really show what I can do. Not to say you can't do that in San Diego, but for me specifically, there just ended up being a lot of opportunity and I could really thrive and, and kind of come into my own little bit. So it was brilliant in the end. It was such a great decision. Who were some influential people in your decision to move? That's a great question. So. When I first, well, this was before, now we have a relocation stuff and a full package and, and a way of organizing the move. Back then we didn't really have any of that. So you was really just kind of relying on the community that you was coming into. For me, when I moved here, specifically a group of GMs, uh, they got me on some funny little text threads that they had and just really made me feel welcome. Specifically Bart Walsh, who's still with the company, Vic, Kerry. They were GMs at the time in, in LA and I didn't really know them very well, to be honest but they really took me under their wing and, and looked after me and brought me into the group. So, and you know, in, a, in a city like Los Angeles, in Point of Heart, there's always something to do. Like the, the calendar of events is pretty active. So there's agave collectives, you know, rum collectives, whiskey societies. So I felt like every night I was out doing Point of Heart things and just really got to, you know, to fall in love with the community here and stuff. So I would say, yeah, those three specifically really helped me out, but the whole community in general, um, and I was opening the Las Perlas in West Hollywood. So the, the Las Perlas here, that whole team was brilliant. It was like I was part of their family from day one, you know, so big shout out to them as well. That was, yeah, that was a really lovely welcome. How did Porn With Heart help your move go more smoothly? Um, so like I say, it was kind of before we had relocation stipends and all of that. Now, for instance, if you relocate with Bournemouth Apart, you get a, a, a specific amount to put towards the relocation, depending on what position you're in. And now we have our employee assistance program. There's actually relocation resources that we kind of link you up with. 
but back then we didn't have any of that really. So I just had um, people helping me pack at that end and people helping me unpack at this end, <laughs> to be honest. Um, so yeah, that's really how they helped to that end. Um, when the opportunity came up, Brett Winfield was, was really quick at making sure that I interviewed for the position, that I was prepped for the position um, and stuff like that. So just whilst there was no structure in place, naturally people kind of helped me out in a sense. So that was really nice. Well, thank you, Jay, for taking the time. Thank you, mate. Think about it. It's a whole big world out there. <laughs>